Welcome back to this week's training vlog brought to you by the Seeker Strength Weightlifting Stream of Programs. We've got our monthly continuous weightlifting program. We've got our standalone 12 week beginner program, very popular with people. And then, of course, we've got our standard squat, bench, and pull, which does everyone from our weightlifters to powerlifters to athletes. And all programs get you access to the Facebook group where we do live streams and we have a nice little community going. So, this week's training vlog is, of course, a weekend of training again in the shed uh, so this is day one of two sessions again so this day was not much of a weightlifting day it was kind of what i call maybe a weightlifting strength day in my head it's like a non-specific day so i'll be honest with you we had a very tough not tough tough sounds like it was hard a very intense jiu-jitsu class on friday i trained beforehand as well so i've done a lot of power snatches and power clean and jerks and uh i was fatigue fatigue wise in general before this session so it's kind of looking like lately in the last few weeks that i may have to tone back on the jiu-jitsu a bit so currently up until last week i've been doing two sessions a week but uh, i think i'll have to tone that back to one i kind of knew this day was coming at some point and i unfortunately just have to accept it for the period of when i'm doing a lot of intense weightlifting so one session should be okay but uh probably near the end I'll have to let go of it even more, maybe first for two or three weeks. Uh, the good thing about jiu-jitsu, of course, is that, you know, it's a very skill-dependent sport. Obviously, to be in good condition, you have to do a lot of it, but there's also a lot of different things to learn, so I still got a lot of benefit from that. So on this particular day, I was quite fatigued. Of course, it was a long day of training. It wasn't a long week of training, I should say. It wasn't just one singular jiu-jitsu session or a Mexican ground karate, which is the best possible name for any sport ever. So in these sessions you've seen from previous weeks, I've kind of pushed the weights on the no contact muscle snatch and pushed the number of sets and reps. So I'd say probably between 50 and 60, probably had something like six or seven working sets and always get the overhead squat in there as well. Uh, really happy with how my overhead position is proving and my lower body feels fantastic. So I've been working with a great neuromuscular therapist, uh, Kevin Pronti in Tralee, KP Therapy. He is phenomenal. Uh, things are feeling great. My lower body feels amazing if I stay on top of the mobility stuff. And overhead, my left elbow is finally stocking, starting to lock out again, which is fantastic. Obviously, the weight loss helps as well for the power to weight ratio and positions. Today as well, I just wanted to do a little bit of kind of snatching as well. And no foot snatch is certainly my favorite form of uh, snatch accessory, as a lot of my athletes will know. But uh, it's definitely one of my favorites and it's something I just wanted to get in a little bit lighter. So currently about twice a week at the moment I'm doing this. So main variations are actually hang snatch, no foot snatch, muscle snatch, and something else, power snatches. So pretty limited, but um, you know, all very useful. So just worked up into 70 kilos, so very, very light, especially for where the weights are going at the moment, so it's great. So then we moved on to some strict press. So as you mentioned, or you may remember from last week, if you caught the last week's training vlog, I was saying that my overhead position was a little bit achy, elbows were sore, I was saying it wasn't really an injury thing or an overuse thing, it was rather a lack of use kind of injury, I needed to move things through those positions. And lo and behold, after three or four strict press sessions, and of course improving overhead mobility and internal and external rotation, the, uh, these are quite pain free, a little bit weak, I'd say about 80% reduction in pain, or achiness, probably a better way of describing it is reduced so that's great um will i push the strict press this training block i'm not sure i'll see how it goes right now it doesn't feel like i need to but as the weights get heavier i may so i'll probably get this up to i'd say at the moment if you put a gun to my head i'd probably strict press 100 kilos as i probably would have at any point since i did 120 but maybe i'll get back up to 100 for a rep or two then moving on to front squats i honestly neglected my front squats this week as i had done to I reorganized some of my training because I had a day off and I wanted to get the second session back squats in due to just how the rest of the training was going. So I had 5x5 five five 170 as you saw and then I had 5x3 at 180 and then a day off. So what I should have done to be honest was I should have done my fives in the front squat as I've been doing but I wanted to get the back squats in because uh, I wanted to go heavier towards the end of the, this week with the back squats and I of course didn't want to be doing heavy trees and then a heavy single two days later. So I snuck in those front squats and just did a 5x2 and 130. Not great, but as I mentioned in the training program 
video I did a couple of weeks ago, I can kind of get away with it for now, uh, as long as I don't neglect it too much, as long as my back squat's still going up. And then of course, I didn't get enough clean pulls sessions in this week, so I wanted to really hone in on that and keep on top of my back work. It's definitely very, very beneficial for like clean, and the low clean hang pulls are something that are very, very useful, so I wanted to get that in on that session as well. So moving on to day two, this was the third kind of main snatch and clean and jerk day of the week. Was feeling uh, slightly fatigued, I suppose. Not that it matters, but uh, it started off not great. See this one? That was kind of shite. But these reps got a lot better as the sets went down. I was quite happy. So I'm back doing enough volume now where in those snatch sessions, I started doing waves again, which is something I found very, very beneficial. So currently nine by two at the moment and I'll work up to a maximum of maybe 12 by two in the waves at much heavier weights, hopefully. So you'll watch something in this, right? You'll see my timing get a lot better. And the main thing I'll focus on, I was focusing on at those heavier weights was a really long extension. And one thing I find that goes fastest for me, and you'll probably see a lot of people, is the more fatigued I am, the more slightly off I am, the worse my extension and turnover gets. But as I warmed into these and went through the sets, they were getting a lot better. So you'll see foot movement becomes a lot sharper. So a little bit short on that one. But then the second rep of each set was a lot better. So look at that, a lot better. First set at 110, which is coming up next. So this set here was very, very happy with these. Overhead and lower body positions in terms of mobility are good. Stability and strength wise are great. That right shoulder is not twisted anymore as I hoped it would. not And then nice position the knees, very happy with them. And then back down to 90. So I went 90, 95, 95, 100, 105, 110, and back to 90 here. So really focusing on sweeping the barbell back, moving to my heels, full extension, and then finish my arms. So really coming into play for those heavy muscle snatches or those high volume muscle snatches, not heavy muscle snatches. So seconds wave to 100. Quite happy with these as they went on. And I finally found the camera angle that I'm happy with in the shed. So uh, 45 degree angles at crotch height. And that's the uh, that's the ultimate angle. The final set at 110. So quite happy with these. Nice foot movement, great bottom position. You'll actually see me bottom out pretty hard at the bottom of this 110. But it's uh, no bad thing. So pretty happy those average weights are always moving up. Then moving on to some clean jerk singles. I'd kind of done my heavier clean jerks for the week. So I'd done two plus one at 120. Obviously not that heavy, but it's moving up as well, the average weights. And they were very, very good. So I knew today wouldn't be super heavy given the bit of fatigue. Um. So main thing I was focusing on in the clean and jerks was just three singles at 115 and I was really thinking about that strong and fast third pull and uh, it's definitely getting better but the main thing is I need to focus on that upper body engagement in the second pull and then pulling myself under very very aggressively. Cleans are feeling good and then the jerks are feeling good as well but I just need to stay on top of my back strength and of course my front squatting. So you'll see me just stretching my quads here between sets. Well it's not really quads, well, yeah it is quads I suppose. So I'm just looking for hip flexor. Uh, they tighten up quite a lot during sessions and this is probably the leading things that led to my knee pain last year was I didn't start addressing that soon enough. Uh, it tightens up during sessions, but the pain will essentially dissipate if I start stretching, you know, after clean and jerks, before squats, they'll have tightened up if I'm snatching clean and jerking. I'll uh, do some f flexion kind of extension stuff and it will be gone within two or three stretches, which is fantastic. And then finally, just finished off with a single at 220. I knew this wouldn't be great, but I wanted to just get 220 done at this point in my training block and uh, keep taking over. I guarantee you I'll triple that in two and, two and a bit weeks. Mark my words. Okay, hope you enjoyed the training vlog. If there's anything you'd like from my training vlogs, I'm more than happy as long as it's not weird. Well, maybe even if it's weird, I'll probably, I'll probably have a think about it. So if there's something you want from them, something you're not getting from them, uh, let me know. If there's stuff you enjoy, let me know. So I'll make sure I keep talking about it or keep showing it. If you want to see more warm-ups or something like that, whatever it is, let me know. And just don't forget, Dara's a loser. Okay, thanks, bye.